deliverances everywhere. Avalanche of miracles. Restoration everywhere. Wherever you may be under the sound of my voice, please go ahead and let's give God all the glory. Only the ungrateful will not give him praise this morning. Only the ungrateful will not give him thanks. The Lord our God in the midst of us is mighty. Megebo siadi, all virtual members, all actual members. Somebody quickly go ahead this morning. Go ahead this morning. Let your voice be the loudest. Giving him all the glory, giving him all the honor, giving him all the adoration. Quickly, I'm giving everybody one minute. For this avalanche of good report. For this avalanche of good report, Legebo Soto Libra and Debo Sete Libre Des, Lebro Endebo Sete Libra Castaliahi, Lebro Edebo Sete Liahi Baronde. One more minute, somebody go ahead, lift up your two hands, give him all the glory. We give you praise, Lord. Legebo Siadi. We give you glory, Lord. Yes, we honor you. We give you glory. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you. You are You are You are worthy of Yes, you are. lift up your two hands just let's give him all the glory let's give him all the honor we can say of a truth the Lord our God in the midst of us is mighty mighty to save and mighty to deliver we give you praise. In Jesus' precious name. I am thinking that a amen is too cold to a grateful heart. If that amen is to the king of glory, a hilarious amen. A believing amen. The Lord our God in the midst of us is mighty. Mighty to save and mighty to deliver. Now, you can see the mighty hand of God in unmistakable terms. For it is written, I will abundantly bless our provisions. I will satisfy our poor with bread. I will clothe our priests with salvation. I will make the horn of my anointed to board. I will clothe their enemies with shame. Mama Andrebo Sia Abra Andrebo Setelia Brakashia Dakaras. If the only thing we will do is to give God thanks, the first service is more than worth it. Hear me again. Only the grateful will succeed in this kingdom. We owe God thanks. You may not understand the meaning of that first good report by my son, Testy. That is reversing a woman jogging. Practically hit the woman. 
And that's crush the woman. No scratch. Nothing broken. Nothing injured. Nothing injured. No injury. Nothing. <laughs> no police case. No anything. Yeah. I decree over you there shall be no emergency. Because whatever he has done for one, he has done for her. And then after the powerful service on Wednesday, I was told that there is one of our members here who, ha who wanted to see me. I said, for what? They said, ah, our two sisters coming from Abuja, maybe around all those uh, local Kogi area, Fulani S-men came out from the bush and kidnapped the two of them. And they are all in the bush. And I said, okay, let her come in. And I said, in the name of Jesus, yeah, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, the help of the helper is a settled case. Now, the two of them began to menstruate. And in the world of juju, menstruation spoils juju. So they said, carry your load, they go. You think it's an incident? Lift up your two hands. Let's return all the glory to God. Let's return all the glory to God. Are there grateful people listening to me this morning? Legebo seteliai, if I am honored, I will see the reason to praise the Lord. Sing it. If I am honored, I will see. I will see the reason to praise the Lord. If I am honored, I will see. I will see the reason to praise the Lord. Together, let's return all the glory to God. Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the honor. Let's give him all the adoration. Le Brodosia and Setelis, Le Gredisia Dakaras. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, surely God is in this place. I have nothing to do with all the good reports. There is still avalanche of supernatural help going on right now. No matter the sickness, I decree you are healed. Whatever he has done for one, he has done for all. Anyone under the sound of my voice that is under any satanic siege, instantly now you are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Well, your amen can be the loudest. I want you to buckle up. Impartation of spiritual gifts, part one. Please be seated. The Holy Spirit is our accredited helper. And please, this is absolutely impartational. A believer is to enjoy a vest of help. And the Holy Spirit is our assigned helper. The Holy Spirit is our accredited helper. They are Androsia Abrashia Dakaris. But please listen. People should look at your life and see results greater than you. People should see you and see supernatural feats, outstanding accomplishment. The truth is this in life, your exploits should be beyond you. Your results should be beyond you. The truth is this. People should look at you and wonder, there is more to you. Before I go to the message, I must not forget. <laughs> All those kidnappers are dead. <laughs> if they are alive, Tomorrow by 12 noon, I'm fake. I'm fake. There is not one of them that will not be violently gone down. Amen. The oracle has spoken. <laughs> it's, a, it's a settled matter. In this kingdom, you are gift made. 
In life, you are gift made. Please follow me. And I want every son of the prophet and daughter of the prophet to open up for impartation this morning. You've been living a limited life trying to push things. There is a dimension of harvest of help. Let no one deceive you. You are not character made. Let me make it clear. There are a lot of people with character who are completely on the floor. You are gift made, character sustained. As for your making, you must be gifted. And I want you to get this dynamics. A gifted doctor is different from an ordinary doctor. A gifted lawyer is different from an ordinary lawyer. A gifted pastor is different from an ordinary pastor. A gifted teacher is different from an ordinary teacher. When you live a gifted life, you will live a lifted life. Because in life, your gift is your lift. You will be lifted to the level you are gifted. And do you see something? A lot of believers, nothing about them is extraordinary. Nothing about them. They are this here, Ebrusia Brakashiadi, Ebrusia Brakasa, First Corinthians chapter 12 from verse 1. First Corinthians chapter 12 from verse 1. There are nine harvests of hell, nine gifts of the spirit. I mean spiritual gift. They are superior to talents. I mean energy matter of the spirit. Supernatural energy supplied by the spirit of hell. You will be basking in exploit. You will command results beyond you. If it is wisdom, it will be at another level. If it is power, it will be at another level. You've, you've been operating a natural life for too long. It's time to enjoy this harvest of hell. Look at it from verse 1 quickly. Everybody hear this. The Bible says, Apostle Paul speaking, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you ignorant. He said, there is an area you must not be ignorant. And it's in the area of spiritual gifts. Everyone that is born again, if there is an area you must not be ignorant, is the area of spiritual gifts. And listen as I take you through for service. We have nine of them. Look at your life. Of the nine gifts of the spirit. How many do you have? Operational in your life. There are some listening to me this morning. Zero. There are some. They can't point to anything. Any gift of the spirit. Their life is as ordinary as ordinary. Somebody lift up your right hand wherever you may be. Under my apostolic voice. Repeat after me. I open up this morning to you, Holy Spirit, for spiritual gifts. The gifts of the Spirit. Say it again. I open up to you, Holy Spirit, for impartation of spiritual gifts. Now, now, listen carefully. Apostle Paul said... <laughs> There is an area you must not be ignorant. It's in the area of spiritual gifts. So that you, you won't live a helpless life. Some years ago, we went to Atlanta. And then we stayed at the bucket, buck, uh, the, the Paramount. 39 floors. The first time we went there, 
We stayed at the thirty-eighth floor. Now you can use the staircase or the lift. If you use the staircase, may the Lord Jesus help you. <laughs> that means maybe you will be coming out once in a month or once in a week. I mean 39 floors. But the same 39 floors, within three minutes with the lift, you are, you are there. To be gifted is to be lifted. Nothing accelerates life like gifts. If there is anybody you envy that is doing well on earth more than you, it's because he's more gifted than you. The difference between you and anyone is the, is the spiritual gift. The person is manifesting that you are not manifesting. And I want you to open up this morning because this is the season to bask in spiritual gift. Enough of this ordinary life, life that has no color. You cry the way they cry. You weep the way they weep. The truth is this, nothing extraordinary about your life. Nothing extraordinary about your life. I am fully loaded by the spirit of Christ. Every gift of the spirit I enjoy and all the graces I'm connected to, a million fold of it be released on you this morning. Yeah. Many don't know what they need. You have no lift because you have no gift. And because you have no gift, you have no lift, be ready to use this staircase. And that's why a lot of people, they've been climbing, trying to climb. For 10 years, they are not there. They've been trying to climb for 15 years. They are not there. Mama Sibri, a solia, agresia, a gishalia, dakaras. These gifts are not for pastors. They are for Christians. These gifts are not for evangelists. They are for Christians. Memesia, brakasia, you know the word that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. How can a believer be giftless? I mean spiritual gift. Please lift up your right hand again. Hmm. Repeat after me in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone say it authoritatively. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, I receive harvest of help this morning. Impartation of spiritual gift. Go to verse 4. Let's jump. Let's run very fast. It's, it's, it's happening as I'm talking. Now, everybody listen. Now, listen to me, virtual and actual. When? Now. When? Now. So, it's to let you know that it's still now. Yes. Now, there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. Diversities of gifts. You will be as relevant as you are gifted. You will be as great as you are gifted. You will be as outstanding as you are gifted. You will be as prosperous as you are gifted. A gifted businessman is different from an ordinary businessman. Let's go to verse 5 quickly. Lebron and the seer. Hey, and there are differences of administration, but the same Lord. Differences of administrations, but the same Lord. Diverse gifts, diverse administrations, diverse manifestations, but the same Spirit and the same Lord. Energy matter of the Spirit. Energy that the Holy Spirit supplies. Supernatural ability. The highest of intelligence can operate at that level. Things that nat no natural mind can grasp. You will be operating at the level of the gods. You know what? They saw them manifesting it. They looked at them and they said, the gods have come down to us in the likeness of men. No talent can move near it. 
A gifted footballer. How do you not know what you are talking about? A gifted footballer. But believers venture into those things and they don't know how to tap into the gift of the spirit. Lift up your right hand. Lagrado shia des. I have brought this grace for you. You have labored enough. You have labored enough. You have struggled enough. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree over you avalanche of the release of spiritual gifts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, your amen is not loud enough. Let's quickly see Proverbs 18:16. Then we return back to 1 Corinthians 12. Proverbs 18:16. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. Your room is your chance. Your room is your opportunity. Your room is your privilege. Anybody you see on earth saying, I have no chance. I have no opportunity. I have no favor. I have no privilege. You are only saying, I am not gifted. I have no gift. I have no gift. Stop running elter skelter, looking for room to be made for you. Stop looking for people to create platform to future you. You can create a platform. It is a man's gift that we make room for him. It's a man's gift. Everything about me till now is according to the giftings of God upon my life. You can't be more famous than your gift permit. You can't be more significant than your gift permit. You can never ever be more successful than your gift permit. A man's gift makes room for him. Look at see a brandia sia brakasha. Spiritual gift. Let's go back again now to verse 6, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Oh, 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 look at it. Hmm. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. Hmm. Now look at verse 7, Prakasia Dakaras. Somebody shout with me, phanerosis of the spirit. But the phanerosis of the spirit is given to every man. To profit with her. The manifestation of the gift. The gift of the spirit. The gifts of the spirit. This ninth gift of the spirit is given to every man to what? To profit with her. You will be having profit to the level to which you are gifted. Without gifts working in your life, you will have losses unusual. This is the reason why a lot of people invest money. Nothing can come out of it. They are not gifted. They are not gifted. The phanerosis of the spirit is given to every man to profit with that. Let me see a brackish Oh my God. Quickly, let's look at the nine gift. Everybody, lift up your right hand again. Repeat after me right now. Can you say it authoritatively? I receive the impartation. Of spiritual gifts. Now let's go. Number one gift of the spirit. For to one is given by the spirit the word of wisdom and to another the word of knowledge. Let me quickly take the first two. The first gift of the spirit, the word of wisdom. The second gift of the spirit, the word of knowledge. These two work hand in hand. Word of knowledge is supernatural revelation of the problem. Word of wisdom is supernatural revelation of the solution. The two work hand in hand. It is supernatural because you can never ever know these two naturally. I mean, it is beyond your mental capacity. The word of wisdom and the word of knowledge that is accurate for the moment. That is accurate for the moment. I mean, specific for the moment. Uh, you, you have seen that in manifestation here over and over. Imagine you carry it as a businessman. Now, word of knowledge. There is somebody here. 
there is a problem with your right ear, then word of wisdom, you are healed. The same, now it's manifesting like that in my area of calling and office, but it covers all areas. It covers all areas. Therefore, lift up your right hand. Repeat after me violently. Now, do you desire this gift? Yeah. Oh my God, do you desire this gift? Yeah. Imagine you carry this grace. You will always know what to do with specificity. Now, lift up your right hand. Repeat after me. The gift of the word of knowledge. The gift of the word of wisdom. Come upon me right now. Wherever creativity ends is where your life ends. Stagnation, retrogression, failure in life, failure in business, failure in career, and professional failure principally is man's inability to be creative. Look at the next one quickly. To another faith by the same spirit, and to another, the gifts of healing by the same spirit. Now, the gift of faith is supernatural capacity and ability to believe and be daring. There is a level of faith. No mortal man can build their faith to that level. There are dimensions of faith. The way David faced Goliath is not normal. It's the gift of faith. The way Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego enter the fire is not normal. It's the gift of faith. There is a dimension of faith. No matter how you build your faith on the word of God, you can never ever grow your faith to that level. Except God just give you that gift. You will be daring. Don't you see how I speak with authority? You will embark on project. That people will wonder, what is wrong with this guy? Place your right hand on your chest. Repeat after me. I receive the impartation now of the gift of faith. Say it authoritatively. Now hear me. Naturally, fear will die in you. I mean, fear will die. A British seer brakashas. You will be audacious. You will be very, very daring. <laughs> you will see somebody carrying AK-47. You will see it as toothbrush. They will tell you that this is cancer. It will be looking like me running nose. <laughs> Gift of faith. You will be believing exactly the way God believes. Play, look, you don't understand what I'm saying? Hey, that, that's why I'm daring. So what I'm operating with is gift. Hey, it's gift. Place your right hand again on your chest. Imagine you are a lawyer. You carry that grace. You will bulldoze every opposition on your way. You will have great dreams. You will say to this mountain, be thou removed. You will shake kingdoms and cities. You will seize territorial forces. You will subdue kingdoms. You will establish the kingdom of God on earth. There is a level of faith. Developing your faith in the word of God daily can carry it. There are dimensions of exploit. Virtually everything recorded in Hebrews chapter 11 by faith, by faith, by faith. is the gift of faith. Not ordinary faith. It's the gift of faith. Please place your right hand again on your chest. Repeat after me right now. I receive the impartation of the gift of faith. Quickly, gift number four, gifts of healings. I don't need to dwell too much on that. You see me personalize it. Gifts of what? Healings. Divers. 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 We see good report of it here every day. Legacia Brakasha. Somebody lift up your right hand again. That's gift number four. Are you receiving this harvest of gift this morning? Yeah. <laughs> Repeat after me. I receive the impartation of the gift of the word of knowledge. The gift right now I receive it of the word of wisdom. 
of the word of knowledge, of faith, and of the gift of healings. Quickly, let's run. Now, look at the next gift. To another, the gift of the working of what? Miracles. It is supernatural capacity to turn obstacles to miracles. The two good reports of this morning, among others, they are manifestations of the gift of the workings of miracles. You can see it in scriptures. The crossing of the Red Sea. The feeding of the 5,000. It is supernatural manifestation of grace. You will just see the hand of God manifesting. What, what did I do? Yeah. Sometimes in a situation, you see three or four of these gifts manifesting. We took communion, and then I prophesied to our life that they are released. I said, look, you will hear testimony instantly. And I, who told you? At the instance, the two of them commenced their circle. Because God knows what he will use to release them. And they noticed it. They said, no. No. These people will spoil. They are, these are juju spoilers. Because that is everything here now we fail. You know, when I was in Aladura, when I wasn't born again, when a woman is doing a circle, they sit outside. They sit outside. I don't understand that kind of Christianity. They are outside. Because the blood of Jesus, they are, the blood they are shedding is superior to the blood of Jesus in that church. Ignorance. Walking of miracles, sir. Look, supernatural accomplishment. Where the truth is this, according to your heart desire, receive it this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Quickly look at it. Let's run fast. To another what? Prophecy. Listen to me. Prophecy is not foretelling of what will happen. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. He that prophesieth edifies, edifies the church. To prophesy is to speak with intent and God will confirm it. What is prophecy? Your sisters are released. It is to speak with intent. And because you carry the gift of prophecy, anything you declare like that, heaven will stamp it. That is prophecy. Prophecy is not your mother is a witch. Your father fell down from mango tree. In your family, no, 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 that's not prophecy. If you carry the gift of prophecy, you wake up in the morning, you look at the day. As I step out today, the lines are falling to me in pleasant, in pleasant places. You are prophesying. You look at your children, you are the head and you are not the tail. It's one of the highest gifts. Paul said, I pray that all of you prophesy. Paul said, I pray. It's a gift. And I want to use it in the next one minute now. I decree by the gift of prophecy, this is your week of supernatural help. Amen. This is your week of answer to prayers. Amen. This is your week of help on every side. Amen. Receive that grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The gift of prophecy. You see, you are practically using your words to change situations, to determine circumstances. It's one of the gifts you must covet. The gift of prophecy. The gift of prophecy. It's time to prophesy. It's time to prophesy. How many people desire it this morning? Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, we need to close now. Now, now look at it. Then, discerning of spirit. See down, we are closing. Somebody shout with me. Say, discerning of spirit. It is the gift that extras people. Discerning of spirit is this <laughs> scanner. Let me tell you, <laughs> you can't lie to me and I won't know. You can't speak against me and I will not know. It is impossible. First lady is the closest person to me on earth. And because people are not operating in the gift of the spirit, they always think so, somebody has reported them. Let me give you some examples. 
there are a lot of times, even in our staff devotion or in the church like this, I will preach a message. We will get home. First lady will say, I'm your wife. I am amazed at what you preach today. Because so, so, so happened. We decided never to tell you. Discerning of spirit. You will know the reason why people are doing some things. You will pick some things. This discerning of spirit, you will even know those who are deceiving you, lying to you. You may not say anything. You may not. I, I'm telling you the truth. Discerning of spirit. Hmm. I have never in my life seen anyone, whether I'm meeting you for the first time or second time, if you speak against me and this ministry and you are close to me, I will know. If your heart is no longer with me, I will know. I was doing ordination. That's why ever since then, I've never done another one. I was ordaining people here as pastors. Go and watch the video. I got to somebody, I laid my hand, and the word of knowledge, word of wisdom came. You have made a serious mistake. He is not to be ordained. Ah, I stayed. Am I hearing myself? Ah, Father. I began to mention his name. I was trying to use the gift of prophecy to cancel the word of knowledge and wisdom. The sunning of spirit, instead of running at a skelter, telling somebody, whom should I marry? Imagine these gifts are operational in your life. I can't tell you how I have been rescued from death over and over again. Most times, first lady will say, I thank God. If I've said this thing to you, it will be as if I'm the one that explained everything to you. Now listen, I went to Canada, I went to preach about seven years ago or eight years ago. And as I was preaching in the congregation, I went to a man. Imagine your wife is your head. And that's what was happening. Imagine your wife is the one manipulating you. Yeah, I said, look at how solid you are a man. And it's your wife. They had a meeting yesterday with the pastor. The pastor said all those things to the man that your wife is your problem. The wife was there. And I saw that normally after service, the pastor will follow me to the hotel. The pastor said they should take me. He didn't come to check me that night. The following day, he came and he said, there is real problem. I said, what? He said, that man you went to, this is what has been happening. We even did a meeting in my office yesterday. After service, they were hungry. That everything about their family I've revealed to you. Pastor K, did I tell you anything? I said, you didn't tell me anything. Discerning of spirit. He would tell you that this person is not truthful. It's not the gift of suspicion, the gift of discernment. Said, look, you can't be around me and have a negative spirit and I will not know. If you relate with my enemies, I will know. Sir, something in me will be telling me this guy is not correct. Place your right hand on your chest. The name of Jesus Christ of... Look, I carry you to... Not, I'm about to close now. I know... I, look, I carry this thing exponentially. It has worked wonders in my life. I carry this grace. Receive the gift of descending of spirit. I can't feel you. Receive the gift of descending of spirit. How can your landlord be a witch? And you will pick it. Descending of spirit. Somebody that is lying to you to collect money from you to run away. Uh, somebody playing you like this, lying to you, going behind to speak against you. Discerning of spirit. Sometimes I've discerned it in people that they themselves don't even know the spirit that they are under. And finally, diverse kinds of tongues and interpretation of tongues. Now listen to the conclusion. Diverse kinds of tongues, interpretation of tongues. Diverse kinds of tongues. You speak in the tongues of angels. You speak in the tongues of angels. You receive messages in tongues. There is nothing you speak in tongues I can interpret for you. Nothing is a gift. I can be speaking in tongues now and be interpreting it. And you have seen that over and over again. Are you ready for this nine help? Let me close. How do you get spiritual gift 
Go to verse 31 quickly. Go to verse 31. Go to verse 31. Two ways to get spiritual gift. But covet honestly the best gift. Number one. Honestly covet the best gift. In conclusion, please look at your life. Which of these nine gifts is the best for you? You know your profession. Do you need the gift of discernment? More? So go for it now. You need the gift of prophecy? Go for it now. And in, you need the gift of the word of knowledge and the gift of the word of wisdom? Convert it. Gift of the spirit. Don't go to where they are needed. They go to where they are desired. They go to where they are coveted. Covert honestly. Time will not permit me to share my story. I covet it daily. I pursue after it daily. I hunt after it daily. And finally, Romans chapter 1 verse 11. For I long to see you that I may impart unto you some what? Some spiritual gift. Go for impartation. Desperation, impartation. Desperation, impartation. Desperation, impartation. Is to be imparted by somebody higher than you in the things of the spirit. Are you a lawyer this morning and engineer? Are you a teenager? A man or a woman? Desperately coveted. I give everybody one minute to rise up on your feet. It's time. It's time. I want to just pray simply from the depth of my heart and we close in the first service. And then you connect to the second service, third, fourth. I, I want you to know something. Don't miss this moment. Which of the nine gifts do you desire most? Which of the nine gifts do you covet most? Look at your life. Which of the gifts are you manifesting? Sincerely speaking, I want you to look at your life. Which of the gifts are you really manifesting? Some people are listening to me this morning. It's possible that there is no singular gift they manifest. Not one. No singular gift they manifest. I therefore give you only 60 seconds. Actual virtual, everybody stretch forth your two hands. Express your desperation. We are closing. Express your desperation. I, want, I don't want you to murmur. Pray with intensity. The gift of healing. Hmm. The gift of the workings of miracles. The gift of faith. The gift of discerning of spirit. Le brado seteli garosh. Le brado seteli bri. Enrebo seteli brakastali ahem. Stretch forth your two hands. Braco siadi. Le gredo steli ahi bradosh. Le nrebo soto libri dis. Le brodo steli ahi. If you know what is happening now. If you are a son of the prophet, this is your finest hour. You are a daughter of the prophet. If you are connected to this grace, this is impartation time. You can't be giftless and you are a pastor. All ministers in master's place, get ready. All workers in master's place, get ready. Everyone connected in all our campuses, get ready. This is your finest hour. I tell you the truth. Prakasiados. Everybody stretch forth your two hands now. Stretch forth your two hands. According to your heart desire, receive the impartation of spiritual gifts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Such as I have, give I unto thee the gift of the spirits. The gifts of the Spirit, the nine gift of the Spirit, in line with your desperation, receive the impartation now in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive accuracy of the word of knowledge, accuracy of the word of wisdom. Receive right now the gift of faith. Receive the gift of prophecy. Receive the gift of the workings of miracles. Receive right now the gift of healing. Amen. Receive tongues and interpretation. Amen. Somebody listening to me, receive the sending of spirit. Amen. Whatever gift is most relevant to your life, your destiny, your ministry, your career, your endeavors, please covet it. 
intelligence can't take you to this level. No human ability can take you to this level. You need the manifestation of this gift. You will subdue your profession. In your office, you will be lifted. The name of the Lord shall be glorified. Now, according to your desire, receive the impartation of the gift of the Spirit. I release it over Master's Blessed Global in the name of Jesus. Your week is blessed. Limitations are destroyed. You are healed of that sickness. The blessing of the Lord rests upon you. The grace of God is a seal upon you. Immediately now, you start seeing the manifestation of the gift of the Spirit. In Jesus' name. As we close in the first service, you are worshiping here actual. With us for the very first time. If today is your first time of worshiping actual here, you are in service at the headquarters church in Worry here. And this Sunday is your first time. Please rise up on your feet. Remain standing quickly. Place your right hand on your chest. Everyone virtual, everyone connected online. You know also you are not born again. You are connected online. You know this is your first time of worshiping with us. Please follow the instructions that are given. Everyone worshiping with us for the first time, rise up on your feet. Place your right hand on your chest. You also know you are not born again. You have not accepted Jesus into your heart as your Lord and Savior. Rise up on your feet and join them. And everyone online in that category do the same. Now place your right hand on your chest. And pray this prayer loudly after me. Repeat after me loud. Say, Lord Jesus, I accept you into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. One minute, everyone that prayed that prayer, lift up your right hand above your head. Ambassadors will put a slip in your hand. God bless you. Lift up your right hand, ambassadors, we attend to you. Everyone online, do the same now. Follow the instruction. One minute, everybody, stretch forth your two hands. I decree your week is blessed. From now, enjoy harvest of help. I decree limitations before you are crushed. Enjoy the gift of the Spirit. Surely, help on every side is your portion. Lift up your two hands and thank him.